Kayla and I'm finally getting around to doing another episode of Kitchen Creations. If you have yet to see my recent episode, make sure you guys stop by to check that out. I actually made chicken teriyaki, it was really good. So I'll link that video down below for you guys to check out. So today we are making spaghetti with meat sauce and this was actually requested on my Instagram after taking a picture of my din din one day. This is Adobs on YouTube. I love this girl so much. I'll link her channel down below. And we have Mauricio <laughs> right here. He hey doesn't guys. make videos, but he has Twitter, and I'll link that all down below. And an Instagram. Mm -hmm. That too. Good Jimmy Dean sausage. You you cut both. Um, I had to. Okay. Tell them what you're doing. Put in the meat. In here too. If it's pink, don't take it off, please, because that means you might get some food poisoning or something. Don't do that. Uh, wait till it gets brown, then you know. Make sure you move it around. This is not sponsored, but we're using ragu because we think it tastes good, and we're using two bottles or cans or glasses, jars. <laughs> good word choice of ragu, and uh, we've already had some in there. This is the second one, and if you want to get technical, it's 50 ounces. So, uh, it's good thing I'm strong. Mauricio actually browned the meat and the sausage really well together. So, since there's so much fat and stuff, we don't want that in our sauce. So what I'm going to do is actually strain this in a strainer and then once we do that we're going to transfer it into our tomato sauce that Alex, you know, poured into our pot for us. I use a strainer to pour the meat in. It's super easy to do so. You can use paper towels and put it on a plate. It makes it easy to transfer it into the pot, but whatever works for you is best. I just dumped in the beef and the sausage into the sauce and I'm basically just going to go ahead and mix this all together and I have this on a low heat just so it can simmer and kind of just marinate all together. And this we want to simmer for a good 15 to 20 minutes. And after that we can go ahead and cook our pasta and then Din Din will be done. We are boiling the water and very soon we will be putting this angel hair pasta into the water. I've never done this, so. <laughs> so basically you're gonna pull out a certain amount. Apparently you're not supposed to do all of it at once. Not make a mess in the kitchen. Not make a mess. Cut that in half. Oh my god! <laughs> Alex! <laughs> <laughs> and put it in the water. 